Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for Thursday, June 2nd, 2022. Yesterday, we had kind of a wide ranging chop that really kind of left more questions than answers. Uh, the bulls had a little bit uh, to do with it, the bears had a little bit to do with it, and really kind of left us with some uncertainty. So what does that mean for today? Well, how about we settle in, buckle up, let's get ready for the Thursday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Good morning once again, everyone, and thank you so much for being here. Let's take a look at these charts, see if we can gain some information about how we may want to approach the market today. You know, if we look at this chart, we ran into some price resistance here in um, the Dow. The bears went to work, but at the same time, as they pushed down, this was a pretty painful sell-off yesterday for probably folks that jumped in yesterday. But as you can see, um, the bulls also went to work and defended support. So what we're ending up with is kind of a wide ranging chop zone. Now that can be a good thing. Um, it can be a frustrating thing for traders. If we were to rest out here, first off, let me take, um, take a moment. Let's draw a line down through here. We'll have to probably leave that as an outlier at this moment, but you could see that real possibility with this chop zone that we've seen right here, where we could just kind of drift along sideways for a while. Now that can be frustrating for a lot of traders if we end up in a sideways move, particularly when we've been used to these wild gyrations in price action, but that might be just what the doctor ordered to calm things down. Now, if those bulls can get inspired by something in the news today, then we may have that opportunity still that we could pop through that resistance and push on through. And of course, if those bears um, find inspiration, well, there's, there's our support level that we'll wanna be watching here in the Dow if those bears find inspiration. And the question is, who's going to win this battle? It's gonna be an interesting um, few days to kind of figure that out. Notice that our 50-day moving average continues to decline here on the Dow. And we have that chance, if we could find that bullish inspiration, then we might rally up and test that 50. But that might be the challenging point here in the Dow, whether or not we can push on through. And then if you look down here, we've got that 500-day moving average down here. Um, uh, fingers crossed that that will at least serve as a support and we can put in a higher low in the market. Now, if we take a look at our SPY, SPY, as we go through these charts, just a little bit less in the bullishness here on some of these charts. If you notice, the SPY is reacting directly to substantial price resistance in the chart. But once again, we found some support. So the question is going to be, can we push up through that level or will the bears find the inspiration to push down through that level? Remember, we are still overall in a downtrend and we've got a bit more work here to do to get up to our 50 day moving average. The Dow has the better opportunity to make that occur. Notice that we would have to have a substantial push to get up here toward that 50 day but that 50 day is working to decline. So making that gap a little bit closer every single day. So watch that closely. If we take a look at the QQQ, the problem gets even more um, stringent here on the bearish side because there's our resistance in the chart, our support, not that much farther below. And we held up pretty well in here, uh, trying to put in that higher low, uh, creating that little chop range. But if you take a look at our technicals here in our chart, boy, we've got a lot of work to do. This is a big resistance area in the chart. And notice that that 50 day moving average crossing down through the 500, we're wearing the 34 EMA like a hat right now, struggling to um, move through there. So we've got a lot of questions here to answer on the NASDAQ. Um, when it comes to the Russell, 
IWM, we've already made that higher low in here on the Russell. So perhaps this rest, again, is just what the doctor ordered, that possible consolidation back toward this trend to maintain that higher low. We'll have to wait and see. Now, the bulls are struggling getting through this resistance here while the bears or excuse me, the bears are, uh, bulls are struggling to get through there while the bears are struggling to push us back down. So once again, a little bit of a chop zone. But if we take a look at the technicals of the chart, there's not a lot here to just really be happy about. If we push back up into this level, very strong resistance and that 50 day moving average that's still in decline. So be a little bit careful here. If we take a look at our VIX, the VIX left more questions and answers as well, noticing that we did finally pull back after rallying, but we've got this interesting pattern in here. We're holding right along that 25 handle area here in the chart. We can't seem to break that down. We've got a little bit of an upside uh, trend that could provide some support, and yet we have this wedging uh, pattern here in the VIX. So it really is gonna come down to which side of this market gets inspired? Will the bulls find enough inspiration to kind of push us down below that 25 handle? Or will we see those bears re-engage and push back up? A little bit of uncertainty here. And I think that's what the market is feeling. It's just a little bit, uh, we want to go up, we want to be bullish, but we know we've got rate increases just around the corner. We've got all of these uh, data points that um, are mixed um, in, in those data points and so we're just kind of uncertain what happens from here. If we take a look at our T2122, now our T2122 is not uncertain. It is telling us that we are still overbought in the short term. We had pushed down at the lows of yesterday down into here, but those bulls pushed it right back up. And um, can we continue to stay in that overbought zone here in the chart. But that being said, um, we still have some upside room here. So if those bulls can find that inspiration. We still have that room. Remember, I've said we can stay up here for a while. We can stay up here in this overbought situation for a period of time. So if we find that inspiration and push up toward that 50 day moving average in the diamonds and the IWM, certainly every reason to believe that we can do that. But at the same time, the same time if those bears find reason to engage we certainly can see we've opened up a big opportunity for a pullback here in the market so we'll want to watch carefully for that and then if we take a look at our t2107 t2107 um, struggled yesterday in getting going but it didn't really change anything um, it didn't wasn't really bearish it wasn't really bullish as you can see we stuck right in here and held that little support area in the chart but we continued to struggle getting up here through um, downtrends and through resistance in that t2107 so finish the day 27 percent of the stocks holding above their 200 day moving average, not exactly a bullish case. And if we take a look at T2108, we did a better job, um, but as you can see, pushed back a little bit, but we didn't give up any of this support that we had recently gained. So holding in there on T2108, now keep in mind, T2108, we still have a substantial downtrend that we've got to get through and there is resistance in this chart that we're going to have to work on to move up. But it is nice to see 38% of the stocks holding above their 40 day moving average. That gives us that little bit of hope that the bulls are getting a tiny bit stronger. Um, let's take a look at our T2101 and T2101 continuing to move to the upside with that whipsaw that we saw yesterday in the market continuing to move up and once again if we take a look at the volume levels here in the chart well, just not all that impressive as you can see we continue to struggle here just a little bit with volume as we try to rise a um, lot of chop a lot of chop is what we might be seeing here in the market let's take a look at our economic calendar for today this could uh, provide that direction we need that inspiration for either the bulls or bears you want to notice that we've got an OPEC meeting decision coming in 
We've had quite a little bit of gyrating around here um, with the uncertainty of those oil prices between uh, Russia embargoes and what OPEC might do. And so um, oil and gas prices continue to gyrate around quite a little bit. Watch that carefully when that comes out. We've got motor vehicle sales, probably not going to move the market, but here's where we're going to have that interesting morning. We've got ADP coming out before the bell, and then we're going to get jobless claims, productivity, and costs. Um, before the bell those um, are potentially market moving we'll want to watch those and we've been hearing from companies that they are going to be pulling back on their hiring and being a little slower to bring things up so the question I think that's starting to uh, crop up is will we start to see those numbers tick just a little bit higher so watch that carefully and um, then factory orders um, natural gas and petroleum status obviously the petroleum status will be the more important of the day. We've got a couple of Fed speakers, a couple bond auctions, and a Fed balance sheet that nobody seems to pay attention to um, anymore. And then if we take a look um, as we plan forward for Friday, we get that big government employment situation number. That could provide either bullish or bearish action here in the market. You'll want to watch that one closely along with um, services and some more Fed speak in there. Um, let's take a look at our earnings calendar for today. Now, on the earnings side of things, we, we you know we're continuing to diminish here in our earnings. We've got a lot of retail on the calendar for today. If you want to click that or get that full list of notables, make sure you click the link just below the title of the video. That'll take you back to the morning blog where you can get the full list. Because I'm running behind a little bit today, this will be a little bit shorter um, video than normal. So um, I'm going to move through this pretty quickly. If you take a look at Lulu, Lulu will be reporting today. This has been trying to put in a little higher low um, in that chart. We have broken this downtrend, but unfortunately we've got lots of resistance above. Um, we've got some pretty good support below as well. So it'll be interesting to see how this reports and what kind of reaction we're going to get. Um, again, we've kind of got that theme of um, retail, CIEN um, will will be one of those um, reporting, not retail, but one of those reporting today. It looks like a little bit of a bearishness in here. We've got DBI reporting. There's some of that retail, and that's starting to show some bullishness here this morning, trying to push up towards some high levels here in the chart. We've got Hormel. Hormel, one of our food producers out there. A um, little bit of bearishness showing up in Hormel this morning, so watch that one. And the last one I'm going to cover, uh, ZUMZ, will be reporting today, so watch carefully for that. Again, click that um, link below the title of the video if you want the full list. How about we take a look at some stocks that could be setting up, but before we do that, guys, if you could do me that quick favor, if you could please click that subscribe button on YouTube and also click that bell icon when it pops up so you'll be notified every time I post a video. And although I, I, I did read all of the comments yesterday, I was running short of time. I didn't have time to comment on those. So um, I just want everyone to know I'll be back on that case today. I do truly appreciate everyone who takes the time to do it. You guys humble me every day with your kind, uh, kind words and support for the channel. So I truly appreciate it. Let's take a look at some of these stocks that um, are setting up and please keep in mind guys these are not recommendations to buy or sell any security as a matter of fact you're going to have to be very very careful um, with the uncertainty that we see in this market anything is possible let's take a look at a couple of things in here that I I do think are interesting um, yesterday um, I was watching um, AMD and I did place a price alert here on AMD and that price alert um, for for everyone, let's see, I can't remember where I put it, right there. Um, place that price alert in here um, right around 102 uh, and a half on that. Now, what I want to see is I want to see this continue this resting pattern. Um, I rarely get what I want, but that's what I want to see. If we take a look at this trend, this is a relatively flat trend, we may need more time for this to rest or consolidate and pull back. So I'm watching for that. And if this um, pops, I want to know um, if it decides to go early. So keep an eye on that. Now re 
remember, um, AMD still has a lot of work to do. We still got to get out of this major downtrend here in the chart. So watch that closely. But this turns out to be one of my pattern, favorite patterns to trade um, when stocks come up out of bottoms. And this is called the round of bottom breakout where we break back above that 50 day and we're trying to hold it here. The, the question, of course, is always can it hold? We don't we don't rush in when it pops above the 50 because oftentimes it cannot hold it and pull back. So now we're looking for that opportunity that this will hold that 50 and then start making that move to the upside. So keep an eye on AMD. And I'll tell you guys, there's a lot of charts like this um, uh, right now shaping up. If you'll notice, we've got AKAM. It's another chart that um, I'm alerting on. And if you look right in, in here there's that little upside trend we have resistance of this gap in here but if we can rest back into here watch for that opportunity we may move on through and fill that gap to the upside I've been keeping an eye on stocks like SQ now SQ you can see there's that price alert we're struggling in this area and we're still below that 50 day moving average. So this is not the best of charts, but you can see that we're trying to slide out from under this very sharp downtrend. We do have this little rising, um, rising lows in here. And if we can hold in this area, there may be that opportunity that we can start seeing some of these come up. I'm gonna put PayPal in that same um, same area here where we're trying to hold in here trying to rise up out of this little low just a second my software decided to change the tool and the tool color on me so um, as you can see um, pushing back up um, in that chart we're breaking this downtrend and we're trying to hold some support and trend so keep an eye here on PayPal it may be coming around for that opportunity, but we do have to keep in mind it is still under that 50 day moving average. So watch that close. If um, you have been watching um, FedEx, I've talked about FedEx a couple of times. Um, we're going to need these shippers to come around. If the consumer really is strong, then they should be buying and receiving lots of packages still. And we continue to struggle in this area, trying to break that downtrend here. As you can see, we pop through pulling back here on that chart yesterday so what I want to watch for is if this can hold this higher low in here so we need that little resting consolidation in here hold that higher low that would set us up in a potential upside trend keep an eye on FedEx now if you're looking for short trades um, you're going to have to be kind of careful in those moves but when you start looking at some of these stocks like um, Roku, Roku um, pushing right up into this downtrend as you can see here. Um, Roku um, showing us a bit of a failure pattern right here at price resistance. So look for those charts that have rallied back to resistance and starting to show that little bit of potential failure that we could continue to move on down um, to that downside. So watch those closely and there's quite a few of those stocks. You know, you can just go look through um, stock after stock and see that all we've done in a lot of things is just rally back to price resistance of the downtrend. So watch those carefully. So with that guys, there's a few stocks for you to look at today. Um, I, uh, I'm running a little bit short of time this morning so I want to wrap this up and I want to wish you guys all a fantastic day in your trading thank you so much for being here um, short week uh, remember we've got um, FOMC that's going to raise rates just around the corner so there still is quite a little bit of uncertainty trade wisely be very careful stay focused on that price action try to avoid um, the wild speculation predicting bottoms and tops make that chart show you where it wants to go. Remember, institutions control the uh, 80 plus percent of the money that's in the market. They can't hide. They have to show us where they want to go if we're willing to wait and stop predicting. So be careful, be safe, and I'll see you right back here bright and early Friday morning. Wish you all the best.